Today marks 30 years since Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman were murdered, and we have a new documentary streaming on Tubi that you're gonna wanna check out. The documentary is called OJ, How He Really Did It. And it's full of never before heard stories from that guy who covered the case for two years. Just a few weeks after the acquittal, I was out to dinner with my good friend Andy Sporkin. I was telling her my theory that OJ went to Nicole's to slash her tires. And I said, let's drive over there and I'll show you. So we went in the back alley where OJ was when he went inside and killed them. And there's a limo parked in front of us. I remember seeing the limo driver look in his side view mirror and he made eye contact with me. Then he started the engine and started to leave. Why would he leave? Because he saw me. And I thought, I'm gonna follow him. And it was going faster and we went faster. And at that point I thought, O.J. Simpson's in the back of that limo. And then went over to his house on Rockingham. I get there and the limo is parked right at O.J.'s house. And we park and it's a standoff for like five minutes. And the guy comes out of the car and he runs up the driveway and goes in the house. We did not see his face clearly but it was O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson went back to the scene of the crime. When he was acquitted, he said he was going to find who killed his ex-wife. And he went back to the scene. He was investigating, trying to find clues. And he might have found him, but you scared him off. Right. <laughs> Make sure to watch O.J. How He Really Did It for more great stories. So it's on Tubi right now, which is free. Um, and all you have to do is go to the Tubi app or go to Tubi.com.